If we are to contribute sufficiently to the debates that are formulating policy now, we have to have empirical data to inform. So unless scientists come on board, unless we, the people, understand some of these things come on board, come and inform these policies, then we shall be making policies out of the blue. The policy research gap uh, has been in existence for quite a long time. If you speak to researchers, they'll tell you, um, I don't know how to package my research results in a language that any, any person, including policymaker, can understand. And if you speak to policymakers, they'll tell you, most of the time, the research output we get from researchers, it's so particular in terms of methodology and the language that they use that most often we just don't know what to do with the results. One of the reasons that research Researchers are being blamed for not bringing development to uh, the country is uh, the research just are done and then filed at the university. But I came um, feeling so green, not knowing anything and thinking, okay, just research, I need to do my research and then after that um, publish it and hopefully somebody somewhere will get it and change it into policy. But from this I have realized that uh, I have to be more proactive than that. I have to think how, uh, how do the policy makers think, what do they have in mind when they are making policy, what are the gaps that I can jump into and make my research matter. Our economy is agriculture based and our people look at livestock as a source of livelihood. They are looking at it as meat, milk, the environmentalists are looking at it at how much methane is coming out of it. So we have to strike a balance. From this course, the Angifose 20 that I've learned the stakeholders that are very essential in uh, uh, policy development. I've also learned um, issues like trying to move the farmers. When I'm coming up with research topics, I have to engage the farmers because those are the ones uh, who know the problems on the ground. That is the end user. As a researchers, the first step for us to make an impact or a contribution to the continent is for us to develop scientifically sound research. But it doesn't end there. We need to share our results. We need to inform policymakers what we have found. Um, getting into this workshop and seeing how we can come up with a language that um, anybody can understand, to me that is very important and that is one way we can bridge the gap between policy and research. If we bridge the, the research uh, policy gap, it means that that uh, the policy is going to respond to the needs of the people and that in so doing, uh, development can be attained. Thanks for the interview, I appreciate it. This uh, is an opportunity <laughs> for us.